earring. Hey guys, and welcome back to another vlog. This is episode two in my fitness series. Not fitness. Fitness diary. Sorry, I've been uploading every single day on my Instagram. That's what I usually do in December leading up to Christmas and it's called hashtag fitness. And so that's why I've been kind of confused, but it's been a long time. I am back. I've been super busy with Instagram and trying to stay updated with that. I have a very exciting package to share with you. Um, so Anna Louisa reached out to do a little partnership for just like the holidays. So they sent me three beautiful beautiful pieces um, and I'm going to share with you guys them. But yeah, they sent me three items. I picked them out and I'm excited to share them. So the very first thing I got is this ring. I will show you kind of like a close-up of all the pieces. This is a Michelle Choi collaboration ring. The reason why I wanted a ring is because I actually lost all of my rings at the gym. <laughs> because whenever I lift, I usually take off my rings because they get in the way of the bar. Um, so I picked this one up because I wanted a, just a little bit of color. All my other rings are just plain, very thin, dainty rings. What are you doing? Um, they're all very plain, dainty rings. And so I want like more of a staple ring. I know what you're wondering, how do you lift with this? So I've actually tested it out I deadlifted benched um, in them and they had it hasn't bothered me the reason is if you can tell it's like super there you go it's like super thin around the band right over here it gets thicker on the side but like right where it's in the crease of your knuckle it's super thin so it lays very flat with the bar and so I really does not feel like I'm holding any kind of or I have a ring on. The other thing that I got are these earrings. They look, they're these like, I think they're the rock small ones. I will leave a name of all the ones and I also leave everything in the description box as long, along with more details and information. But yeah, no, these are so, so, so pretty. But I love that this is still small, but it's a little bit more like day to day if that makes sense so it's still small and cute and i can wear it every single day but they do definitely have more of a bold statement to it than like just a stud which i love and i've slept with them and they're just super super good quality my ears are quite sensitive but these don't bother my ears at all and the very last piece that i got are the matching michelle Choi earrings can you see that so the color kind of goes with the ring and I thought it'd be super, super pretty to wear just like in the summer or when I want a bit of pop of color. As you can tell, like all of my earrings are just one solid color. So I thought I would be a little bit adventurous and try to go for stuff that I don't usually go for. Then they're still quite small, so I can wear them every single day. I don't think it would bother me in the gym when I'm moving around, lifting, running, all that which is a big, big, big plus for me. So yeah, those are the three pieces that I picked out. I absolutely love them. They're having a huge holiday sale right now, so I would recommend you guys to check out the website. So all the materials are ethically sourced and recyclable, so even the box that it comes in, you can see is recyclable. I'm super excited you'll see me wearing them. I will share with you guys a workout with me wearing them just so you are aware that you can just wear these day to day. They have so many other pieces on their store so definitely go take a look. I will leave a link to their website down below so make sure you open that and let's get on with the rest of the video. Today is Wednesday, December, what is it? Is it 16th? 15th? Um, and it's a beautiful day as you can see there's a bit of snow outside that hasn't melted because it's been quite chilly it's actually gonna I feel like it's gonna be an actual white Christmas this winter which is strange because usually every year it doesn't start snowing until like January February but recently it's been snowing quite consistently which I have hope for but right now I'm getting ready to leave. I have a few clients before I have to head over to the clinic in Vancouver. And then we're doing a little hot pot at home at my coworker's house, which I'm really excited about because I've actually never met any of the other staff members. I've only ever worked or has met just a few of them. And so I'm excited to kind of meet the rest of the team and do a little holiday bonding. So I'm just gonna get ready. I don't have, let me put my watch on. <clears throat> so I'm going to finish getting ready and then head over to the gym for clients and then I'm going to go over to the clinic. 
I don't know. I'm just in a good mood. It's sunny outside. Ideally, I want to take Rono on a walk, but I don't think I'll have time for that. So I'm going to see if maybe Jason can take him on a walk for a little bit. But this weekend, my sister's coming with her boyfriend from New York. I'm super excited. I've never met the boyfriend. I like chatted with him multiple times through FaceTime, so I feel like I've like met him, but I've never actually seen him. So I'm excited for them to come. Um, I haven't seen my sister since the summer, so I'm gonna go pick them up at the airport. It's at like 1 a.m. We're gonna do that, and then on Monday, my parents are coming back home from Korea, so we're gonna have the house full again. It's just been me for the past few weeks, so it's gonna be nice to have the house busy and rumbling and rustling for the holidays. And then, next Wednesday, so exactly a week from now, we are going to Whistler, so it's gonna be me, Jason, my sister Diana and her boyfriend, and then my best friend slash like sister Jenny. You've seen her. You haven't seen her. You've heard her in all of my videos pretty much. That's her and her boyfriend. So it's gonna be like a triple date kind of thing. And we're gonna go for one night, two days to Whistler. So we're doing that next Wednesday to Thursday, which I'm gonna vlog. So lots of exciting content coming up. So make sure you guys subscribe um, so you don't miss any of them. I literally need to get ready now. So I will chat with you guys in a bit. Okay, I know this is terrible lighting. I'm sorry about that, but I finished work. It's much darker now, as you can tell. It is 8 p.m. And um, like I said, originally we are gonna go for hot pop, but we're not doing that. We're just gonna go to a restaurant and just grab some food and drinks. So we're going to El Camino's, which is a Mexican place, I think, near here. So I'm gonna drive over there and meet the rest of the team. I'm super tired, but I'm excited to eat because I haven't really eaten anything since Honestly, like, oh, I had a bit of McDonald's. I picked up McDonald's on my way to work because I knew I was going to be starving, but I haven't had any, like, proper meals since this morning. So I'm excited to eat something, grab some food, and just chat and talk, have a little social night, and then run home, aka drive home, to see Rono because I know he's home alone for a few hours now. So I might, I don't know if I'm going to check in again from now until the end of the day, but if not, I will see you guys tomorrow. Otherwise... Um, yeah, if I feel anything, I will keep you updated. Good morning, guys. It is the next day. I had I just got off a few client calls, so I'm gonna make myself some breakfast. I really didn't know what to eat. I don't really have much food um, cooked, and I don't really want to cook, so I'm just gonna have some protein yogurt with some protein granola. This is probably one of my favorite protein granolas. It's the hemp, yeah, granola, and there is 10 grams of protein per um, two thirds of a cup. So I'm gonna have this with um, my yogurt. My yogurt is the Oikos protein yogurt and vanilla. That's the only protein yogurt that I ever get. I'm gonna fill my stomach up and then I wanna film a reel because like I said, I'm posting every single day this month leading up to Christmas and I need something ready for today. So I'm gonna try to film like a reel of my outfits, like what I would wear for a hit day, leg day, upper body day, and post that. So I think I'm gonna eat this, try to plan out that reel. I really don't like making reels. I'm not create enough, cre creative enough, or just like good at filming. Um, so we'll try it out, we'll see. I have a few hours before I have to leave for clients. And then tonight we're going to watch Spider-Man, which comes out today. So um, I'm excited that we were able to get tickets for the last showtime, which is 9.45 p.m., which is perfect, because like I work until 7.30, I'll come back home, drop off my stuff, eat maybe a little bit, and then go out for the movies. I'm gonna eat this, probably end up making something small before I leave, um, like a lunch. I think I might just like, I don't even know. I don't have rice made. I have tortilla, but I don't have anything to put in the tortilla. Maybe I'll just make some chicken nuggets. Meh, I don't know, this is not what I eat in a day. And Roto is eating. Mr. Sir? Oh, you're hungry, baby. Sorry, the Windex. It's because I had to clean his cage. But there he is. Yeah. Sorry, I don't know. I won't bother you while you eat. Guess who arrived? Yay, and guess what he brought? lunch um it's funny how i was saying i didn't have any lunch plans but now i have food before i leave for work 
And I did film the real bits in the works of being edited. So you will see that over on my Instagram. Make sure you're following that. Good look. Mm -hmm. mm. It's a little bit bitter. Bitter. My apologies for the abrupt transition, but I'm at the gym now, clearly. I had an hour break in between clients, so I decided to do a quick back day. I usually start off my back day with deadlifts, but I did not have enough time, so I did bent over barbell rows as my main compound lift. When you're going down to grab the barbell, make sure you are squatting down with proper form and lifting it up. I supersetted this with kettlebell swings. With the kettlebell swings, my biggest recommendation is to start with the kettlebell in front of you, about a half a meter in front of you, and then start your swing this way. Then I moved into lap pull downs. I did three sets of 10. I did not superset this because I wanted to go a little bit heavier. And can we just appreciate how nice my hair looks here? With this one, think about bringing your elbows to your side and squeezing your lats. Then I moved on to single arm dumbbell rows. I like to do the single arm, incorporate a little bit of unilateral exercise into it. I did not superset this and I did three sets of 10 on each side. Then for the last superset of my quick workout, I did cable face pulls. So you can do these kneeling or standing. You wanna keep your spine very neutral and pull the cables up to your ear and squeeze. And I supersetted these with dumbbell bent over flies. I did 15 sets of these. I try to keep these nice and light, minimize swinging of that upper body by squeezing your core. I hope you enjoyed that little workout clip and the voiceover and everything. I just did a quick back day because I only had an hour break in between clients and my leg days at least take an hour, so I didn't want to start a leg day without having without having enough time to complete it. But I'm waiting for my client. Client, I have about five minutes until she should he be here. But I just thought I would update you. I'm feeling quite sore for some reason. My left tricep is very very tight, so I might actually do a little bit of foam rolling and stretching. I had the gym all to myself pretty much for like half of my training session, which made it so easy for me to film my workout, which is nice. But I have four more clients back to back to back all the way until 7.30 and then it's time for the movies. I'm so excited. But I was I was wearing the earrings and the ring during the whole workout and I it did not irritate me at all. I will check in at the end. I'm going to be so tired. I just could feel the butter chicken moving up and down my stomach while I was working out, which is not pleasant at all. So I'm gonna chug the water that I have and then Wait for my client. Is editing me. I just wanted to close off the video um, and just give you an update. So Spider Man was pretty good. I did fall asleep for. 30 minutes of it, it was so late. Next time when I watch a movie that late, I'm gonna try to get a coffee because I could not keep my eyes open the first little bit. But it was really good, got home past 12, went straight to bed and now I'm just editing. I just want to say a huge thank you to Ana Luisa for partnering with me on this video. Again, everything will be in the description box so make sure you open that for the link as well as um, any more information. And until my next video, bye guys, say bye. I try to remind myself that it's for the best Ignore the pain in my chest